Thank you. Push her out. Come on. Trot on. Come on, girl. That's a girl. Come on. Good girl. That's a girl. Good Jackie. That's a girl. Go on. Trot on. Trot on. Come on. Keep it up. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. You'd know, would you? Give us a look. Come on. <coughs> Keep it up. <coughs> a girl. Come on. Hold on. What you reckon? Bring her in. She looks all right to me. Looks don't tell you everything. Ah, an old bush stockman like my dad would have had that leg well and truly fixed by now. I think modern science might have improved things since then, Charlie. I don't know about that. He always swore by eucalyptus oil. Cortisone would be more appropriate. Reiki. Now that could be very beneficial. Well, if she's ever going to be ready to run that race, we're going to have to tell him. Maybe she should be spelled again. No, and then she'd lose condition. For Pete's sake, there's just a bit of heat in the leg. I'll tell you when to panic. Do you think you're working it too hard? Yeah, shouldn't you take her for a swim to cool off now? When I want advice on how to fix a bowed tendon, I'll let you know. <laughs> Understood? I didn't say anything. I didn't. We can't tell Horace we're Jackie's new owners. We're not even supposed to know she's on the island. Mr. Leung found out I'd be sacked. I'd be jailed. What do you suggest we do? Just keep on throwing good money down the drain? Wait a minute. She's not our horse at all. She belongs to an Arab. Yeah, but that's him. Or should I say Arab syndicate? And surely they'd be entitled to give the trainer some advice. You mean, if they, that is, we came to the island to check on their horse? Exactly. Hmm. Yeah, what is it? Brand mash. Best poultice there is. What do you do with it? You pack it on the leg. That'll draw the heat out better than anything. <laughs> Came by courier. Arab syndicate. Ha! If they think they can roll up in turbans and tell me what to do, that's it. I'm not lying down for this anymore. You have to. No, I don't have to. And furthermore, I won't. If you don't, it'll be the end of all your plans for Jackie. He's right, Mr Brinkman. If Hermes finds out you're onto them, he'll have to enforce the no domestic pets rule. And you and Aaron could be in a lot of trouble. Even go to jail. Well, no, you'd only be in breach of a bylaw, which technically isn't a crime, but it's still a pretty big fine. I mean, it's only a meeting, isn't it? You could always ignore what they tell you. Tell me? Ha! I'd like to see him try. Ha! I think we'd better be there. What? Have a look at this. What? Don't you find that? Looks like Lawrence of Arabia and his mates. One word about bowed tendons and I won't be answerable to myself. Don't think about it. Just act like they're your standard mega-rich horse owners. Hmm. Looks more like travel to me. I'm not wrong, Derek. I don't like the look of this, Kowalski. Charlie, I don't think they wear trousers underneath. I'm not taking my trousers off for anyone. They're headed inland. We better contact Mr. Endarkis. Greetings, Mr. Brinkman. Such a radiant joy to be in your beautiful country again. Come to Mother Bear. Come to Mother Bear. We have a coat. Such a fine <laughs> island you have, I see. Come to Mother Bear. A veritable jewel in the ocean of... Bear.
You have the eucalyptus trees here? I think you could say that. I am hearing very good things about the eucalyptus oil. Bond's a horse remedy, I'm told, particularly for the leg of the horse. Is that a fact? He knows all about that, don't you? Mix with three parts Epsom salts and rub into bad leg, and then slap the beggar up. <laughs> Fix even big problem, good as gold. Something is going on, Derek. Mother Bear is not responding. You know what I reckon? Why would anyone come ashore on this side of the island? Because they don't want to be seen, that's why. Right, up to no good, right on our doorstep. And why today? The satellite tests! Cut to base! This is an emergency! Repeat, an emergency! Unauthorised intrusion! Code red alert! That went quite well, don't you think? Perhaps a follow-up letter to Mr Brinkman with detailed confirmation of all our instructions might be warranted. You're not going to start on with all that healing hands and crystal stuff again, are you? Smoky calls! The base siren! Wow, full security alert. What's happened? Calden Calden couldn't raise Mr Indarkas for at least two hours. The intruders must have jammed his frequency. Intruders? But I just saw... What intruders? Three very dodgy-looking Arabs spotted sneaking on shore at Lonigan's Beach, sir. Arabs! Impossible! You must be mistaken. Yeah, might have been us. We're out for a swim. S sort of round there. Not a chance. These people came in by boat. This new satellite we're testing... Now, uh, the security company's picked up on the code red alert. They're sending their own security expert. Do you hear any minute? We don't want any nonsense from anyone. Thank you, Kowalski. That will be all. I can assure you, Mr. Leong, that there will be no trouble. Derek and Kowalski, well, they tend to... Exaggerate things? Yes, exactly. All the time. I'd say it was a false alarm. They've never been very reliable when it comes to accurate reporting. You must be Hermes and Darkus. Ahara. But uh, you can call me Bernice. Thank you, Bernice. It was tricky before, it's about to get worse. This'll do. Hermes, I know who these people are. You do? They've been after our satellite tracking program before. But they won't get past me again. Not with this little baby. A computerised heat-seeking laser gun. Wow, that's Star Wars stuff. What does it do? It could pick up a mouse at 500 metres, or any other warm-blooded mammal. What, like humans? Uh-huh. Oh, no, like a horse! Uh-huh. It'd find anything that big miles off. Well, what if we hit her in the bushes? Wouldn't help. It senses heat through just about everything, even water. OK, so how do we beat it? There's got to be some way. Decoys. We let her find lots of warm-blooded mammals, Except a horse. The software program for the laser, we need to get a look at it. Will that keep track of where she is? Should do. Where do you think you're going? Just to the communications room. We've got this really heavy school project we have Definitely to... Definitely not. But we need the computer to... Totally negative on that one. Actually, Mr Leung does allow the maxims. Well, not while I'm here. Com room is off limits to anyone without clearance. We won't be in the way or anything. You heard me. That's the way out. Perhaps the storeroom. You could use one of the backup computers in there. You compromise on security and the opposition will find your weakness. Use it against you. And children, Hermes, are small, dangerous and highly untrustworthy. You're a very wise woman, buddies. I totally agree with you. I'm always right. I never make mistakes about people. And that is why you're the only one who's going to know everything. I've already set up the heat-seeking laser. If 
you can't trust the head of security, who can you trust? You're my kind of man, Hermes. We haven't got enough memory for this. We need to plug into the central mainframe. Get these out to the others. At least we can warn them when she's going to be out there. If she doesn't get you kicked right off the base. She can't. We live here. You ready? Yeah. Just log anything into it that looks like schoolwork. What is this? It's asking for the password. But we don't know what it is. Okay. What's the password? Do you like horses, Bernice? I like dead horses. They make excellent dog food for my bull terrier, Brutus. <laughs> uh, now, what's the password? Lonigan. Whoa, what is this? Lonigan. It must be the password. Password correct. The lace program? I think with someone's help, we've just hacked into the mainframe. Hermes! Who'd have believed it? Well, he doesn't want her finding Jackie either. If that's a mega macro heat source, I'll bring it up. What's on that part of the island? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Wilderness. That's one heck of a big nothing. Wildlife. Yes, yes. It'll be a kangaroo. Some of them are very big. Huge, in fact. Let's check it out. It's on the right side of the island, and it's just about where Jackie Stable would be. She's on to her. Gavin, this is base. Do you read? Standing by. Terminator has you in her sights. Move out. Decoy Diversion 1 will move into your sector. Roger, Milan, we're on our way. Decoy diversions are in place. Let's go. Ah! fast all-terrain vehicle of some kind and I'm darn sure they're getting help. Miss O'Hara, so far your heat-seeking laser has found a bunch of children and an old man in a fire. Now, aren't you beginning to think this may all have been a false alarm? Don't patronize me, Leung. I want a cordon thrown around the entire island. If we use my entire security staff, we couldn't do it. Let's get our priorities straight here, Leung. I'm not asking, I'm commandeering. I'm sorry, but don't have that authority, Miss O'Hara. We'll soon see about that. We can't keep running Jackie around the bush like this. It isn't doing her leg any good. You know what I think? I think that this Bernice is nuts. She has to be. We all think that, Gavin. Yeah, but if your dad thought it too, then he'd have to get rid of her, right? He sure would. Okay, so she wants to find some Arabs. Well, let's help her find some then. Lots of them, everywhere, all over the place. There's not enough of us. We need help. Well, I already know three Arabs who want to help out. Yes. Here he comes. Mr. Brinkman thinks it's the only way to get Bernice off the island. Well, if we don't, she's going to find Jackie for sure. So the plan is, if Bernice wants Arabs, we give her Arabs. 
bucket loads. Wow, Mr Leung's going to think she's lost the plot. Exactly, but we need as many volunteers as we can get. Please, Mr Brinkman. <laughs> oh, no. Not me. You can leave me right out of this one. No one will ever know, I promise. Hermes, where were you? Horace and the children need our help. I just can't keep disappearing like that. Bernice was distressed. She needs my help. That Amazon, distressed. What did someone do, run her over with a truck? I won't have you speak about Bernice in that way. She's the epitome of she's. She's a wonderful security officer. Whatever she is, if we don't get rid of her, you can kiss the horse goodbye. What's it to be, Hermes? Bernice? Or Jackie. Forgive me, Bernice. Jackie. Right then. You're about to take a sickie. Come on, girl. Get over. Good girl. Good girl. Well, you'll be safe here. And Mr. Brinkman's cooked up another heap of bran mash so you can give Jackie a fresh poultice. Cool. Good luck, eh? Yeah. All units. Terminator moving out and on the loose. See, second a time like this, dares call himself head of security. Mr. Indarka said he might be along later. Tell it to someone who cares. Camber on the line, Susan. All units, Terminator returning to base. We've done it. Yes. Like our heat source. Disgusting. It smells like pig slops. How do these people live? Let's get out of here. You've reduced this base to a shambles, and now you're trying to tell me that the the islands are washed with Middle Eastern saboteurs. We're looking at a substantial force. I don't think you understand how dangerous these people are. What people? Show me one. James, 
We've had to discuss your priorities before, if you remember. Yes. And Canberra's priority is for you to return immediately. You're bluffing, James. Try me. I didn't think you were the type to malinger when the going got tough. Well, I... Most unfortunately, I'm afraid. Stomach complaint. Beyond my control. Pity. Perhaps we could meet under different circumstances. I could explain. I plan to forget we ever met. You've been a huge disappointment to me, Hermes. Well? Well, that beats everything. That leg's as sound as a bell. Been as good as gold ever since that woman stuck that laser thing up against it in the laundry. Sure, the magic wand. Yeah, why not? I mean, lasers are used for all sorts of medical procedures these days. Um, I mean, like surgery and everything. And that's your start of it, enough of that. But if it really worked... That leg has come good because I spent 40 years making legs come good. Because I happen to know what I'm doing. Unlike some people I could mention, but I won't. Hmm. Yeah, boss.